The last Volkswagen Beetle was about as girly as sitting down to have a wee. But VW claim this new one is a lot more uh, manly. For starters, the design is muscular rather than curvaceous. There's a longer bonnet too, and the flatter roofline is more in keeping with that of the original Beetle. You can even get the new car with some man-pleasing trinkets, like a spoiler, twin exhaust, and a turbo badge. Thing is though, from certain angles, it reminds me of the Chrysler PT Cruiser. That's not a good thing, by the way. Thankfully, the new Beetle doesn't drive anything like the Chrysler, nor for that matter, its feminine predecessor. The previous generation Beetle had all the handling prowess of a giant jelly, but this one is much, much, much better. I mean, chubby though, because this range-topping 2.0-litre turbo is essentially a Golf GTI underneath. There are a few changes. For instance, the suspension is a bit different, the body's a little bit shorter, and it rides on bigger wheels. And I think the overall result is that it's not quite as comfy, but, you know, as blokes, we should be able to cope with a slightly firm ride. Make no mistake, the new Beetle can go round corners much better than before. And this one can go like the Clappers too, because its engine is also taken from the Golf GTI, albeit slightly retuned. 0-62 takes just 7.5 seconds, while top speed is 139 miles an hour. Don't worry though, you can get the Beetle with some more girly engines, as the range kicks off with a 1.2 litre turbo petrol for just under 15 grand. And if changing gear for yourself is just a little bit too butch, you can get Volkswagen's DSG paddle shift gearbox. As for the glove box, it's like that on the original Beetle, and you can even get the car with a Fender sound system. And as we all know, electric guitars are as masculine as the Y chromosome itself. <laughs> Overall, the interior design has more bloke appeal than the previous Beetles. Quality is improved too, although the stylish dash is all made from hard plastic rather than soft touch materials. But surely, soft touch, it's for sissies, right? My only problem is, where the heck am I supposed to put my flower now? That'll have to do. In the back, space is pretty tight and there is only room for two people. But hey, men don't have as many friends as women. Also, the boot, it's slightly smaller than on the Golf at 310 litres, but it doesn't matter. Us blokes, we can travel light, can't we? For instance, I've got all that I need for two weeks in this bag. So then, the new Beetle is definitely more masculine than before. But then that wasn't really hard, was it? The question is, has VW done enough with the new design to change the car's image once and for all? So, do you think the new Beetle is it a car for a man or for a woman? It's a crazy car for a woman. Or for a woman, surely. It's a girl's car. Ah, right. It seems that people don't think that the new Beetle's quite as manly as Volkswagen would like them to. And at £25,000 for this range-topping 2.0-litre turbo petrol, it's pretty much the same price as a similar engine Sirocco. Now that's a man's car.